Okay, this is our thermometer. It's on the other side of the cabin the, in the shade. So this is what's happening in the shade right now. 28 in the shade uh, Celsius or what? 81 Fahrenheit. Oh, and now this is my Frankenstein solar panels. The first solar panel I ever made. I think it's about 60 watts. So anyway, I've got that out in the sun here. And I've got some alligator clips on the two leads going through power port this wire up top there's a switch and there's a fan so what I'm gonna do for now I'm gonna load a couple of uh, beverages into this cooler and put a thermometer in there and uh, see what the before temperature is and the after temperature Okay, this is our little uh, th our refrigerator our, our, um, thermometer. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn on the fan and uh, let it sit for an hour or so and see if it, it cools anything off. Okay, so it's uh, hmm, 20 degrees Celsius inside and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not all that impressive. Thought it'd be a little bit colder than that. See, now, that's what I got when it was on the low setting. So maybe I'll put it on to uh, medium, see if there's any change. Now, uh, I was putting out about 1.4 amps at uh, about 18 volts. So it's nothing, uh, nothing really all that great. But, uh, you know, it's a little bit of something coming in. So I might not be producing enough power to actually kind of run the Peltier module. Maybe enough to turn the fans. But it's been running for about an hour. I'm almost out of sunlight here. So let's just see what the fan's at. Oh, it's at the same. A little bit of moisture on the the beers but it's not great so after testing uh, this Coleman 12 volt cooler over the weekend it didn't really get as cold as I thought it would but what it could be is maybe I just don't have enough um, ampage going to the Peltier module inside or maybe I need to change the configuration on the fans or something along those lines so it's not a total fail but uh the reason might be is the uh, power port I got used here, it might be just too, too low amperage. Maybe I need something a little bit bigger and uh, maybe that might fix it. So anyway, back to the drawing board and hopefully there's a part four of the uh, 12 volt power chill Coleman cooler. Thanks for watching.